It came through a series of conversations very late at night when we were trying to work out how we were going to deal with the first set of regulations. That's where it came from, very, very late at night. Um, I can't claim personal responsibility for it, and I don't, but it's certainly one of the best things I think we did through COVID because it, it, it gave us a backbone of everything that hang off of it around enforcement. Do you think it's got applications for other policing engage, other policing roles, other policing functions? Yeah, I think it has. More broadly? I think it's, because it's so simple to articulate and to understand, and why, why, would, why wouldn't you? And, and I think there are officers up and down the country that still use that broad principle. Do they frame it in quite that way? Probably not sometimes. But I think it, it's baked into, into the psyche of officers on the front line now. And, and bear in mind as well that we were operating in a period that we'd gone through a large uh, recruitment campaign. We were in the early stages of uplift. So you've got a lot of cops on the front line during that period who've never operated outside of COVID. So their foundational experience of interaction with the public is based on the four E's. So I think that serves us and them well for the future because that's where they've started their career. That's the mindset we've embedded into them. So, you know, I think it does serve us well for the long term.